welcome to all my little friends out there. Again, we meet for our Sunday school class. I hope last time you remember we talked about Joseph who was a very dear son to his parents. He was very obedient, very loving and very caring. Today, we are again going to look into something special like this. Today, we are going to study about praying home. Before we begin with our chapter, let us bow our heads in prayer. Dear God, we thank thee for your love and for your faithfulness. We thank thee for the countless blessings that you have showered upon us. Lord, we submit these children unto the mighty gracious hand. Lord Jesus, grant them the wisdom to understand the word of God. Help them to live according to the word of God. Help them to be a blessing to their parents and to the society. Lord Jesus, be with each one of them. May your presence always be with them. May your grace shine upon them. Everything we ask in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. So today's chapter is about praying hope. Before we begin with this chapter, let me ask you one thing. Do you invite your friends and relatives to your house? Yes, right? When do you invite them? You invite them during some special occasion. Special occasion like your birthday or the wedding anniversary of your parents or during Christmas, isn't it? You invite them. And do your relatives if they are living in a far off places, do they come when you invite them? Yes, they come, isn't it? Because you invite them with love. And what do you do when all of them come to your home? What you do? First, pray together, eat together, have fun together and love one another, right? So today we are going to talk about a house or a home which was just like your home, a loving home, a praying home. Today's uh, chapter is taken from the Bible portion from Job, Job chapter 1 verse 1 to 5. Job 1, 1 to 5. Long time ago in the land of Uz, there lived a man named Job. And you know what? God loved Job. Why did he love Job? Definitely he had some qualities, some good qualities, right? What was that qualities you know? He was a very truthful man. He was very devoted to God. And because of his good nature, God loved him. And God blessed him with children. He had seven sons and three daughters. How many? Seven sons and three daughters. And you know, these children, they used to invite their brothers, sisters or other members of a family to their home when there was any special occasion. When there were some parties or anything or whenever there was any feast, they used to invite their uh, relatives to their home. And when all of these people used to come to their home, you know what they used to do? Yes, just like your home, they also prayed together, they ate together and they loved one another greatly. They had a very great time together. Isn't it that loving thing? Isn't it? Your home is also like that, right? Now, that's a very wonderful thing. So, this story is a very short story wherein it tells that Job, whose house, whose home was a praying, loving, caring and a sharing home. So from this class, you should understand that our home should be also like that. Whenever come, someone comes to your house, they should be very happy because your, your house should be filled with love and you should give the love to them. And next time, whenever you invite them, for any other special occasion, they will definitely come. So here we end with our chapter. Now let us look into the question answers. 
The first question is, what is the name of the man who lived in Uz? What was it? Job. J-O-B. How many children did Job have? I said, he had seven sons and three daughters. Why did Job like him? Why, why did, sorry, why did God like Job? It was because he was very truthful and faithful to God. Whom did uh, Job's children invite for the party? The brothers, sisters and other members of the family. What did they do when they came together? They prayed together, ate together and loved one another greatly. What are the good things that we see in Job's house? What did we see? That whenever there is a special occasion, they used to invite their friends and family members to their family for a feast. Now, there is another activity. What is it? You can see the picture. The picture is about, the picture looks like a picture of a home, isn't it? So what you have to do, uh, I'll read out one, one thing. If uh, those things you do in your home, then you have to color it, okay? So the first is love one another. Do you love one another? Yes. If yes, then you have to color that portion. Next, read the Bible. Yes, in my home, definitely. We love one another. We read the Bible. So if you read the Bible, you have to color it. Eat together, color it. Then treat guest well at home. Yes, right? So color it. And love neighbor. Yes. Then last is pray daily. If you do all these things at your home, you have to definitely color it. Okay? Color it with the beautiful colors that you have parent, your parents have gifted you. Now, um, looking into the memory verse. The memory verse is taken from Psalm 133 verse 1. Psalm 133 verse 1. How wonderful it is, how pleasant for God's people to live together in harmony. What is it? How wonderful it is, how pleasant for God's people to live together in harmony. So, here we end with our chapter wherein you have learned a thing. What did you learn? You learned that your home should be a praying home. The first priority you should give is to prayers. You should read your Bible daily. And if you don't know how to read, you should tell your parents to read it for you. Your home should be a place where you should invite other people for special occasion. And your home should be a place where you eat together, love one another, have fun with one another. Okay, so with this, we end with today's online class and we will close our class with a word of prayer. Lord, our Heavenly Father, thank you, Father, for giving us the wisdom to understand your word. Lord, we learned today that how our home should be. Lord Jesus, help us that we give first priority to you in our home. Lord, we ask you to be in our home. Let our home be filled with love. Lord, help us to be together. Bind us together in your love. Everything we ask in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. So, see you in next class. Bye.